Hey everybody, how's it going? It's April 16th, 2024, and I'm going to talk about lettering a little bit. Just a few minutes, my thoughts on lettering. Anyway, let's start the video here. All right, here we go. Now in this video, I'm actually using a paint called Ronin Aqua Coat. I mixed up some blue and white, and I made this uh, really pretty saturated blue. But I don't always use Ronin Aqua Coat. I just typically use the interior house paint, especially bare, bare uh, interior house paint. Most of you guys know that. If you're new to the, if you're new to the channel, then uh, yeah, that's the paint I usually use. Bare Premium Plus from Home Depot. Anyway, um, splash lettering is kind of it's different. <laughs> And uh, even like when you're doing posters for, you know, companies like they used to do posters, a lot of posters for grocery stores and stuff. The lettering is usually planned out a little. Not always, but usually it's planned out a little. Whereas with mine, when I'm doing the lettering for a splash like this, I kind of just look at the size of the space I have and I sort of visualize how much room it's going to take up instead of being planned out. I kind of think of it as like jazz, like being a jazz musician, just playing the different notes and playing off the other, you know, you're doing that sort of uh, free flow jazz, you know, not a, uh, not a jazz song that's been, you know, composed and planned out every note and stuff, like an easy listening jazz song, but like the free flow jazz where you're just looking at what's around you and who's playing what instrument and you're, you know, reacting off of that. And that's how I kind of do. I kind of look at it. I look at the lettering I'm doing. I look at the space that's left over, and I, you know, sort of gauge. You know, I gauge how much room I have. Just sort of free flowing, eyeballing it. You know, and not planning it out. Whereas, like, if you're a sign writer, it's more like it's almost like classical music, where you write down every note and you figure everything out and you measure everything. You know, when you're doing regular sign writing. And of course, it's not always black and white. There are shades of gray, like there's overlap of, you know, how you do the lettering. But generally, I don't plan out every letter, every character along the line that I'm doing. I just uh, kind of go for it. Like the lettering above there, though, you'll see when I pull out at the end of the video, that was a little bit more planned out. But here what I'm doing is I'm just free flowing, I'm going along. And uh, a lot of times I use black. I use the, um, the golden high flow acrylic carbon black to do lettering over like a blend or something, something that's lighter. And I'm gonna post a, another uh, video right after this one of me doing a rainbow blend, which is really cool. So stay tuned for that. But, uh, but here, yes, I, it's if when I'm using white like house paint I usually have to go over at least a couple coats but if you're using blue light blue really covers well over dark surfaces and I have to only go I can go over it like right then and there I don't have to let it dry and then come back necessarily anyway just some thoughts on lettering I thought I would post this for you hope you're having a wonderful spring here in 2024 and things are going well <laughs> 